I want to talk about recovery and how you can determine your recovery rate. Now, there's a lot of different tests that you can do if you're an athlete to determine your recovery. There's heart rate recovery testing. I did a video on that. You can check it out below. There's a test called heart rate variability, which measures the sympathetic and parasympathetic part of the nervous system, which uh, is the autonomic nervous system. I did that test in my office for many, many years. It's very accurate and it can tell you how much sympathetic or flight of fight that your body is stuck in versus how much parasympathetic or recovery you have left. Uh, and a lot of times you would see people like normally the sympathetic should be right here. So you would normally see it like way up here, people stuck in that flight or fight mode. Yet the recovery sh that should be way over here is like way over here. So they had very low recovery with high amount of stress. So if you don't have um, access to a test like this, um, you can go by other factors. So I wanna differentiate two things. You have your body recovery rate, and then you have the being's recovery rate. So let's say for example, you have this really tough guy, he's 60 years old, uh, mentally he's still 18, but physically he's 60 or maybe a little bit older, okay? Um, and in his mind, he's like, I can do CrossFit. So he gets out there and does this intense exercise and ends up almost having a heart attack. So you, you do have the person themselves and their attitude towards stress in life. Um, and then you have the body's recovery, which is basically two different things. Um, body recovery has to do with your ability to repair. And there are repair proteins or enzymes in your body that do the work of repairing uh, damage at the DNA level. And your body is constantly repairing those breaks in DNA and the damage that occurs to different parts of the machinery in your cells. And they definitely require nutrients like zinc, folic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E. And these repair proteins definitely require nutrients or they don't work that well. Um, the body tends to uh, relegate or ration out uh, certain nutrients. If it's deficient in a nutrient, it will ration out um, that nutrient to just the most important functions. And it can neglect the longevity proteins and some of these repair proteins. And then you have your adrenals. Your adrenal glands deal with stress. They help you adapt to stress. And if you have a lot of stress in your life, it accumulates and it builds up and the less adrenals will function. And there's a lot of things you can do to improve it. Um, this video is not about that, but I put a link down below of some things that you can do. Uh, one of the most important thing is to get your sleep corrected. And by the way, a lot of people that think they're getting enough sleep are not really getting enough sleep. Stay tuned for a video on that. I'm going to cover that very soon. But the question is, how do you adapt to stress? Okay. Uh, one good way is through the heart rate. And there's a real simple test. I put a link down below. You can check it out. You can do this test. You just exercise for one minute. And I go through exactly how to evaluate that. This is really important if you are into exercise. Also, let's say, for example, you work out, okay, a good workout, and you can't sleep the, that night. That is an indication that you're overtraining and that your stress tolerance is low. Or let's say your blood pressure goes way too high for many hours after you work out and it doesn't rebound. So you have the heart rate and blood pressure. Or even your mood or a stress reaction. How long does it take for you to bounce back from stress mentally? That's a good question. Because if your adrenals are weak, um, it's going to be hard to bounce back from stress quickly. But I want to show you um, a couple things that you can do to strengthen your ability to repair and even the, the genes and the proteins that help you repair. Okay, and it's called hormesis. Hormesis is a term to describe beneficial stress. Now they found that stress-free bacteria do not thrive well. They don't do well. Same thing with us. If we take a person and put them in a completely stress-free environment and they never have to do anything, they don't do well. So we thrive on a certain amount of stress. Our bodies become stronger. I mean, even take a look at some of the real successful people. They've been through incredibly hard times and they bounced back from it and they became stronger. Of course, if the stress didn't kill you first. I think there's a song about that. But hormesis would involve uh, many things. One would be intermittent fasting. 
So when you do intermittent fasting, you're actually mimicking starvation, which is a stress. And your body rebounds by turning on certain genes that become stronger. You actually get younger when you starve, but not too much, just kind of a moderate amount of starvation. Fascinating. Exercise, the same thing. When you exercise in the correct quantity and the correct intensity with the correct recovery, you can become much more fit and stronger. Cold therapy, it's called cryotherapy, can actually stimulate certain proteins that become stronger. Heat therapy, like a sauna or infrared sauna therapy, very powerful. Oxygen therapy, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, I'm doing this right now. I love it. And you're creating a hormetic effect of spiking oxygen and then bringing it down. And you're actually in a chamber uh, simulating deep sea diving. So it's quite an interesting effect um, on stimulating stem cells in your bone and stimulating stem cells in your brain. You have, there's certain light therapy, uh, laser therapy, UV light, uh, just going out in the sun. A small amount of radiation can be very beneficial because your body can rebound and become stronger. Even phytonutrients, which are considered um, toxins in plants, can actually help um, build up our own body's defenses against these toxins. So I have a question for you. On a scale from one to 10, 10 being very high recovery, where do you think you are? Zero being no recovery. Give me a number down be below in the comment section. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.